Today's episode is brought to you by our friends at Prize Picks. Ladies and gentlemen, I love sports. And I like to make sports a little bit more, more entertaining. And I do that with some entries over on prize picks. Like, is, is Patrick Mahomes, quarterback of the Chiefs, is he going to throw for more than 320 yards? You know, maybe Derrick Henry. He, he might be sitting there with a player projection of 85 yards. I know about football. I pride myself. So I go over to their prize picks. I make a few entries and have a little bit more fun while I'm watching the game. It's extremely easy. I think that's the best part of prize picks. If you're brand new to this type of a game, it's just it's so easy to get in on the action. Here's how it works. You pick two to six players, and if they will score more or less than their prize picks projection, and you can win up to 25x your money on any entry. You're not competing against other people. It's just you versus the projections, and we're talking about NFL, NBA, MLB, NHL, PGA, college football, you name it. It's probably on prize picks. It's extremely fun. I suggest you go check it out. Currently in operational in over 30 states and Canada. Download the prize picks app or go to prizepicks.com to sign up and play daily fantasy sports. First time users can receive a 100% instant deposit match up to $100 with the promo code SPITBALLERS. If you deposit $100, prize picks will give you $100. If you deposit $50, prize picks will give you $50. Don't forget, enter promo code SPITBALLERS at sign up for an instant deposit match up to $100. What happens when three buffoons give life advice, explore unrealistic situations, and give random topics more thought than they probably deserve? It's the Spitballers Podcast with Andy, Mike, and Jason. Yippee, yip, skip, skip, biggity, bow, wow. Okay. All right. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Ah! Yeah. Ah! Solid through and through. Different. Yeah. New. Yeah. No, Top. no burnt edges. It wasn't like the middle was only good. The whole, the whole, everything was good. The crust, topical. Looks like it's gonna be a good. Uh, oh, oh, topical. I didn't even bonus points. Catch yeah. on to that. I was enamored with its flow. I didn't need it to be topical. It wasn't even very rough. It was. That was okay. That okay. was uh, bow wow. That's that another dog joke. Another dog joke. <laughs> Got anything else? Uh, I will. I will. But right now, I feel a little. Give collared. me some time. I gotta. Oh. What? I don't know. I, just, I feel a little collared. Yeah. Is yeah. No. I mean, it's it's fine. Like, is that something anyone has ever said? If he had said muzzled, it would have been way better. Yes. Yes. Well, you know, stick around. Was- <laughs> we got a long, we got a long show for you here, Spitballers. <laughs> Welcome into the Spitballers podcast. Uh, you can find us on Twitter at Spitballers Pod, Instagram dot com slash Spitballers Pod. Today we are drafting the best dog breeds. Yeah, baby. I am drafting them entirely based off of. One thing that I will reveal later. Oh man, well, my interest because I don't peaked. know a lot I, about dogs. I hope that it is aesthetics because I believe that. Well, I guess behavior is sometimes taken into account, but most people when they get a dog, they're like, "That's the dog I like to look at." You I hope it is purely weight. You can't <laughs> muzzle my opinions. Oh, oh. Okay. Would you all rather? Right, all right, quit hounding it right now. Let's let that. Uh... What? Where are you? You're just throwing in dog words. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody put Jason on a leash. Okay, please. see, that's a good one. <laughs> all right, all right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna work on it though. I feel I'm like keep you did. Up. I feel like you worked on that one, and it Someone didn't come out right. This guy's ears. <laughs> <laughs> like what? It's not something people say. Yeah. I get, I get it. I get, quit, I'm gonna work. Quit tailing around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This, see, that was a real good one, Mike. <laughs> oh, we've got a. Neuter these jokes. Oh, there Would it is. Would you rather the situation room? Lots going on. Better hit this button uh, right about now. Would you rather? I didn't think there would be a category of that was bad even for us, but we were enter- <laughs> entering that category. Uh, Graham from the website. Would you rather spend 10 hours in a 10 by 10 room with 100 people inside or three hours? In a thirty by thirty room, with just you and an alligator. Oh, this is quite. Okay. Oh man, this took a turn. I did. I didn't not expect the see coming because a ten by ten room with a hundred people. I don't. Can you can you fit a hundred people in a ten yeah, by ten yeah. room? That's where we got to start. I mean, you can fit. That's a hundred square feet. 
So and tell. how many do you, how many square feet I does mean, like basically, an average person need? Well, I take up more than one, <laughs> so I I take up at least one and a half. You will square be feet, touching probably two square feet. You're and how long is this for ten hours? <laughs> oh my! Now the alligator thing is, can I? The honest question: thirty by thirty, can I evade an alligator? Not for thir not for three hours. Yeah, not when he gets hungry. <laughs> you I mean, can evade an alligator a little bit, like I I, I you know we see videos of people that can you know run away and he's not gonna yeah. just chase you down forever like his life depends and, on it and 30 feet that's a good run i mean that's a little bit of like can you jump over an alligator you can try uh, <laughs> i mean like if, if worse comes to worse can i jump up and try to land on its snout and then like hold it shut? yeah I mean, you can definitely so if i capture the alligator i could hold it close for three hours Theoretically, yes, Theoretically. because their their jaws like the, the muscle of the yeah. of the jaws go the other direction for our, so which can, I heard you can, it's so a, you can hold it closed. Yeah. Yes, but I mean, first you have to get there. Can I wait for it to fall asleep? Uh, there, there is a chance that the alligator just hangs out for three hours and does nothing. Is yeah, it, I want to know the last. I, I need the, the feeding meal? schedule. I need to know was this guy just fed? He's coming in full. He might be a little groggy. Uh, you know, is not starving or like yeah. He he last ate Tuesday, and go. <laughs> Now in, in the ten by ten room, Jason, how how many farts will you emit during ten hours? It won't matter. The the bo in that room will <laughs> fart. You could fart away. You know, because there's you're not smelling any of those gases. We you're, have talked a lot about Jason. Go ahead, answer I was, the question. I, I mean, you're smelling everything. That the <laughs> heat in that room. Yes. The heat in that room, there's not an air conditioner or a refrigerator powerful enough. A hundred people in a hundred square feet. What's your FPH? What? Feet per... No, your fart per hour. Uh, what, are you normally, what are you emitting? I'm probably I just want to know if you'll suffocate in I'm here. probably a three or four uh, your FPH. FPH? <laughs> so three and a half FPH. Uh, <laughs> but the problem is there's no way in this room over 10 hours you're getting zero farts. That's... So many. That's impossible. Well, if everybody has a standard FPH of about one to two, and you're at four, Wait, there's probably some other. Do you think that's a realistic no, number? Not I didn't either. No, it's probably like 0. 0.25. Yeah, that seems a little too high. Depends on your diet. Depends but, on the intake, yeah. Uh, what I was going to say is that let's say you're in that situation. You're with the 100 people. We don't talk about BO enough. We talk a lot about other smells. Yeah. But some of the worst situations you can find yourself yes. in are like I've had recently HVAC contractors Ooh. come to the house, okay. long project, long part of the day. So manual, working that manual labor, that uh, blue collar life. Up in the attic. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, they're, oh, they're, oh, gonna, they're, they're in the get, attic. They're going to get stinky. Yes, they are. But then they want to hang out and kind of introduce you to their work and oh, what they've done. Yeah. Show you around a while. And so it's like, on one hand, I need to know how to use the thing they installed. On the other hand... Sir, can you write this down, please? You are emitting an odor that please. is permeating the fabrics on my furniture. Please don't uh, point up there. <laughs> Keep your arms to your side. Yeah, so, I mean, it, that's a... It would be a problem. What's your worst BO situation? Have you ever had one when you knew that you were emitting? Mm. Maybe you forgot the like odorant that day, and you are stuck slash trying to find a way to yeah there uh to hide i mean certainly there have been like oh you forgot deodorant and there is none available and you and you know you're like oh yeah. crap and you take that little whiff and you're like oh yeah. crap the old the smell fee and then what happens from that point is your elbows are so locked to your hips or, or to right, your sides right. that you start creating more problems. It, because it's getting sweaty. Absolutely. You are sweating so much. Like you can trap it. You're nervous. It's hot. And so now it's getting worse and worse and worse. And you know if, if your arm goes up, it's a real problem. So we, I think we've all been there, but I don't. In those situations when you know, I'm trying to avoid people. Yeah. I'm certainly not one to walk close to someone or – but there have been times where you are um, around someone else who's doing something like you just said, showing you around. I, I remember once I was at a store. I was a worker, and there was a patron uh, that I had to help. And this patron could not have had a home. Um, and I, I believe they did, but they did not use it. 
They did not use their uh, showers or bathtubs in as long as... Ancestral. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> and um, wow, they so, were so smelly, and I didn't know what to do. Like, I, the whole aisle. The whole aisle of this oh, retail yeah, store Oh, yeah, you can was, leave a... Um, was it like a Pepe Le Pew type of <laughs> like trail? Like a skunk trail? Yeah, a skunk trail. So I'm, I managed to Google something. And this socialtables.com came up, they, and it was how many square feet per person standing. Six square feet per person is a good rule of thumb for a standing crowd. So if you have 100 people. Six square you, feet. If, if you have 100 people, you should plan for 600 square feet. For a party. For that's that, not yeah. a concert. No, no, I, but I'm saying like that's the rule of thumb. So just it, like, and you know how much space you have at a at a cocktail party. It's not a. It's not always a ton. A uh, human emits 80 to 1,050 watts of <laughs> thermal energy. We look at I'm trying to BMUs? figure out, haven't you ever heard the saying of like, uh, one human equals 100 watts? Have I heard that? No. No, I mean, I've, I've heard people say that you emit the amount of like like a light bulb, like a, a certain oh, wattage of light yeah, bulb yeah, yeah, and yeah. heat. Emit. I'm just trying to think about how hot it's oh, getting. Oh, it's going to be, it will be terrible. It will be absolutely terrible awful for 10 hours you will be squished you'll be shoulder to shoulder you'll be you'll be tummy to tummy you'll I mean you'll everything's gonna it's gonna be a really big problem but you will live because of the alligator for 10 not hours there. but if people, right the alligator is not in this 10 by 10 room but if you're in a room with an alligator i mean you have high probability of death and i can't think of a a whole lot of ways worse to go the, than an alligator than being chomped alive by sharp teeth right let, let me let's think about this i know we're teasing out different things jason you're bringing up that being the worst way to die one of it's, yeah it's a pretty bad way to go but do you die because oh, yeah you bleed out but i'm thinking like most of the time these alligator kills they grab you they pull you under the water and they spin you right well you drown around right yeah if you're in water it's going to drown you if you're on just land you're going to bleed out because i don't know if the alligator is going to go Go for throat like where it's like instinctual for a dog. I know what to do. Oh, that's oh, great. this is great news. I know what I would do whenever I'm encountering an alligator. No, what I should have I, do? I have the key. And by the way, Brooks, I didn't know you. You pretty scared of alligators? They might be like my tops, like Jason and spiders. Luckily, really? I, don't, I don't encounter them. But yeah, luckily, no, they're not you crawling on your walls. There's not just <laughs> an alligator in the corner. <laughs> they are so terrifying. But here's what you do: you give them part of your body that won't kill you as a donation oh that's called an appetizer my friend yeah. you are peaking your yeah. interest you you're making it hungry but look they've got two they, but what are you how what are you giving it are you like are you ripping your ear off what no, are you, you doing give here? them your leg man <laughs> how <laughs> you, you want to know how you give them your leg you go up to the alligator and have start chopping on you this is not good I mean. advice not good advice. when an animal could bite you in the neck you let them bite you in the arm the arm is fine, but your leg, like, what's the artery? What's the, the, uh, the femoral? The, your femoral, whatever. I've moved the to arm. The one in, in, like, I've shifted in the to war the, movies to where the they, have to, they, they have to clamp it closed or like, oh, this person's going to be gone real soon. Is there any way you can grab the tongue? Can you hold on to their tongue and, like, pull I'm, their tongue? Yeah, but then I they will you also, they'll be holding <laughs> on to your arm at the exact same time, and I right. think. I'm the only one thinking outside the box here. Hey, well, you're, you are. How so long you're be in the, can you swing an alligator around by the tail? <laughs> Okay, because uh, so long as you're swinging, that mouth is far from you. Can I do that for three hours? Can and you does, lift an alligator? Does the alligator enjoy it? And then are you friends afterwards? Right. Maybe I made a maybe like I a made a pal helicopter ride, and then it's just like hissing at you. <laughs> Adult once another males ride. are five hundred pounds. Oh, you're you're toast. <laughs> he goes he goes straight for the tail thing, and he just starts. Uh, 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 <laughs> he just chomps you. I can't imagine. Better hope you get a female more terrifying. What are they, like 400? 200. <laughs> really? Yeah. Them some big boys. <laughs> wow, that's, that is a big size a discrepancy. 500 to 200 pound usual difference. Did something just fall down on our set? And something fell off yeah. the wall. I don't know what it was. <laughs> Someone let us know later. It's okay. No <laughs> one cares. Uh, I'm going to go with the alligator. I'm going to give him my arm. <laughs> Uh, I'll go in the I'll go in the room. Oh man. I am going to have the rest of my life looking back at the horrific uh traumatizing situation I had in the room with the people, but I will look back. Yes. 
and be alive. So I will choose the 100 people and the 200 and, I degrees. I mean, like, when you're done with that room, then going on like a subway. That's going to be nothing. This is easy. Yeah. Hmm. You're just desensitizing yourself for the future. I'm figuring this alligator out. It ain't getting me. <laughs> I mean, you got to close the mouth. <laughs> That's like, it, it, you. Well, the, no, I, I really think that we have this happen. We come out. We're just we're dehydrated. We're barely conscious, and Andy just strolls out because the alligator slept for three hours. Like that's what's gonna happen. If you can catch it while it, it's sleeping, you can offer it a pillow. <laughs> like give it all. Just wrap all your clothes up and l like lift it set up and just just. Shh. If you get to bring one like item in bag? with you, what item would you bring in with the alligator? With the alligator Ooh. stilts. Oh, that's not a bad one. <laughs> that's really not a bad one. Or, or I, it's probably knocking my stilts down. Yeah, you'd need more like a ladder. I don't think he would knock the ladder down. Or like an, a, just a plain aluminum one? I, the the 500-pound croc or alligator is taking I'm not that saying he in. couldn't, but I, I don't know if his brain It would. is. Do you die if you're in a, a whole suit of armor? No. Like, like knight's armor? Because it will grab you. And no, it will, I don't think it can it'll puncture It'll spin it. you around and stuff. But you don't get a full suit. You get one piece of the armor. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What so like piece you're chest, grabbing? Chest plate? Probably the legs. <laughs> Yeah, the legs. Probably, yeah, probably the legs. Because it will go for the legs first, right? Yeah. You can't jump, right? These aren't jumping alligators. I don't know. Now I have like can this. Can an alligator can it, jump? Can it, can it go up on its tail? I'm not even sure it can turn. Can like it a, do that? If it can't turn at a hard enough right angle, I can get away from this thing. They, I think if, th it, if they do gradual lefts, I'm good. I'm not sure if that's actually true or just a myth. I'm just making it up right now. I don't know if it's true. It just looks like the kind of thing that can't take a hard right. But they they're can very, jump. They're very fast. I know oh. they're straight line speed, though, right? They've They're, never seen me juke. They, yeah. Can they handle a crossover? Let's see. 30, Probably not. 35 miles an hour. Welcome to the alligator hour. <laughs> uh, 35 miles an hour on land? Yeah. No. He, they get tired quickly, though. That Tyreek Hill can't do that. <laughs> what? Yes. That's a really fast What animal. a monster. 500 pounds running 35 miles an hour. Dinosaur after so you. So I guess I'm That just, is a dinosaur. It's terrible. They can also jump five to six feet. No, no, they, they what? can't. That's what I'm reading. That's probably from water. No. That's I mean, with, they on can a jump trampoline. higher from, uh, from water, but they can still jump five feet from land. They oh, can, my gosh. So how? The, so the, I, the object with you, what? With their stump legs? <laughs> That's what, <laughs> with My the, mind is blown. What kind of Achilles tendons are in these alligators? I'm, I got I to gotta find some footage of an alligator All the dinosaurs jumping. could jump? Oh, just, Changes everything. We're lucky that meteor showed up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Right on time. We, we would not be around. Do I do we stay with the alligator the rest of the show or are we going <laughs> we moving on? Let's move wow. on. Out of the water, alligators can really jump. Well, like, like they might just, as well be a shark. They just, just swim and then they go out? Yeah, and the tail just wow. well, like a dolphin? Yeah. What? Oh, I'm talking like this is whole body fair. straight up out of the water. Wow. All right, next question. Brooks is definitely not more afraid now. Yeah. Uh, Stay out of the swamp. So we're moving our company to, do the, not try to, to Florida, by the way. Did do you know not that? Try to jump the alligator. Oh, because it'll just jump up and <laughs> yeah, get me. Yeah, that's that's you just became a game can at you that point. Can you pretend you're an alligator with it? Go to the ground? I've seen alligators fight alligators. Oh, dang it. Yeah. There's no winning here. Even if be I in pretend? the room with the people. All right, all right. Uh Emily from Patreon, would you rather live in rural Alaska and never have to work another day in your life? Or live on a beach in a beautiful tropical climate, oh, but you have to work until the age of 67. So Alaska seems like, I've never been, but seems like a very beautiful place at times. But then there are going to be times where it's always nighttime. Uh, and if very you're, cold. If you're, yeah, very, very cold. If you're in rural Alaska, I think you're working every single day of your life that's just to live. That's literally what this read to me is it's like you never have to work another day in your life for a company, but you do have to work all day every day to, to stay alive, or just to stoke a fire. Yes. And let me ask you this. Do you guys currently work? Do I? Do you currently have a job? No, yeah. I, enjoy, I enjoy what I do, so yeah. I don't work a day oh, in my okay. life. That, well, that's great. Uh, Andy and I <laughs> actually work over here. Um, it shows. <laughs> but uh, we work. And I would prefer to just keep working on a beach. <laughs> like work isn't the worst thing in the world can you, here. Can you podcast from a beach? Can I'm pretty confident the, you can podcast. The sea breezes can get in. You need a certain filter. <laughs> yeah, like but Al can the whole time that you're out. gonna hear whoosh. 
ocean. And <laughs> right, you hear the ocean the every single time. I apologize for the relaxing water sounds, everybody. Got to yeah. move our our set as the tide comes in. <laughs> we do try to get as close to the water as we can. That's a good point. First sandcastle set in history. I would just have a big wooden, you know, dock, like a floating dock. That's where, oh, that's you're where staying I set on up the my water? Oh, absolutely. Like a, you're just, not going to get seasick? Uh, probably. <laughs> <He's> <laughs> I'll like, have a bucket. Well, no, I'll just... Let me I'll, tell you about... <laughs> <laughs> What's the difference between... <laughs> Yeah, it's going to be a great yeah. uh, ASMR podcast. <laughs> the soothing sounds of vomit. Of, of, ocean of, and, <laughs> of ocean and puke. Ocean and puke. That's the name of my podcast, that Ocean nice. and Puke. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, I'll I'll go to the tropical climate, thank yeah, you. Yeah, me too. Yeah. 67, who cares? Yeah, That's actually a pretty good age to retire. It's not like you have to work every day until you're 95. What is... What, that's uh, about right, right what there. Is, is it 65 or 55? 67 is the full social security. Okay. When when do I get on uh By the time ARP? we're we're that old, it will be like 71, 72. Yeah. When can you get on ARP? I think yeah. that's 60 and above or 65 and above. What age do I'll probably know. They send me stuff all the time. They're prepping you. Like they're just like, "Hey, why haven't you signed up for ARP yet?" They I'm have like, What? You're not a part of pre for real? pre-ARP? Yes. That's wow. people over 50. Whoa. Yeah, yeah they 50. just they no wonder me, they're sending it to you. They send me crap all the time. Jason, are you already up in that uh no, up in no, that business? I, I'm actually surprised they're sending stuff to Mike. I've never ha- I've never seen an ARP letter before, but That's the uh what does that stand for? Retired people that some, I think it starts with an A, so Association I'm guessing it doesn't. Of awesome, American retired awesome people. American retired people. <laughs> Come on, Al, you've got to have this one for us. Association of Advanced Age <laughs> Retired People. <laughs> Yeah, I think nailed it. There has to be some American Association of Retired Persons. Right. Okay. Right. Oh, persons. Okay, yeah. okay. That's so not people. Much they more need polite. a pre-arp. I want discounts in my forties. Is what I'm saying. What That's is the age? A student ID. Not necessarily for us, like in our current job, our current role. But what is the age, generically speaking, that you think most people would want to retire at? Like what? Want to? Sixty, fifty-five, sixty. 55? I, I see, my number was like 65. I felt like that would be like the normal... I don't think so. I'm not saying when you're that age, but no, like no, no. right now looking ahead. Like, I want to retire by... 50. Yeah. I mean... I, I think it, most people want out. Yeah. It's, the, the thing is, like, mm-hmm. do you have the means when you hit the retire to, to golf all day, to right. pick a ball all day, to go to the tropical climate? I mean, it's just... it. It's... Talk would about you, alligators. What all, <laughs> what all can I do? All right. New question. After I retire. New question. Would you rather retire at fifty with enough money to go about day to day life, but you're you're okay. you're living uh, fixed income, fixed income, yeah. and you know you're you're not splurging on anything, uh, budgeting and and yep. living not super comfortably, right, right, but right. you can get by at fifty, but you don't have to work or work till you're seventy, but at that point. You could do oh, anything man. you want. Anything. Oh, definitely the fifty one. Yeah, the definitely. F- to really? seventy is health too is far. not. Yeah, it's too far. Your health is. You're likely sixty five. I mean, think about eight life expectancy, Jason. It's uh, like in the mid seventies. Yeah. So oh, man. so you're talking about getting like five years of of kind of wrinkling around <laughs> town. <laughs> I mean, I I'd rather just be. Fi- How many times out can I eat a month on this fixed income? Four. Yeah, four times. That's a fine. Month. Oh, That's fine. Man. Once a week, I'll go out to Luby's at four. So that means like one DoorDash <laughs> per month. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's fair. That's a problem. That's, well, I mean, that's going to be a lot of ramen. I just know that if you're seventy, there's a decent chance you're now not. Now it's time to live. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly right. Uh, no, time to learn <laughs> surfing. Up my hip. That's tough. I mean, Al, how would you answer that one? Which one would you go Maybe with? Maybe 70 out? was too old. I think 70 was too old. If you had gone 60, then that's would, worth the wait. I'd go 60, yeah. What about you, Al? Yeah, 50 or 60, whatever. So either He wasn't listening I want to be show. on both sides. 50 or 60. I'm, I'm the sorry, answer is which would you like? 70. <laughs> what a, what and then I thought you changed the line. So do you want the do you want the uh I'm retiring earlier. Earlier. Thank yes. you. Thank you. Uh what about you? Yeah, Brooks Same. earlier. That's the one. Okay. Brooks is currently retired. I think most people who don't talk about alligators want to retire as soon as humanly possible. I don't now, need a lot of money to play pickleball all day. 
Okay, Brooks. What that's, if, fair. that's a that's fair, fair point. What, what if we said you could retire tomorrow, but you have to go to Florida? Oh, no. Nah. The swamps? <laughs> can't do it. The swamps? <laughs> this can't, is live good in, to, can't live in fear. This is good, <laughs> this is good to know. Yeah, they live in the Cretaceous down there in Florida. <laughs> this is good to know. I, yeah. I, I've got new gifts to purchase for this <laughs> man. Um, all right. Do they, do they have alligator drones <laughs> that we could just fly one in? Just remote control alligator cars, yeah. <laughs> Uh, Tina from the website, would you rather live in a house where you walk four flights of stairs to the kitchen or three flights of stairs to the bathroom? I like this question. I once watched a TV show. People out there, they probably know it. I, I don't remember the name of it, so maybe they won't be able to know it. But it was basically these this older couple that bought a castle and, in France, like an old castle, and it was all about them renovating this castle. Is this a reality show? It's a reality okay. show. Took place in France. They got a moat. Like, it's beautiful. Ooh, you get a moat? The show's great. So they have alligators. For sure. Or crocodiles. Not yeah. sure the difference. Um, it, the nose shape. Is this Escape it, to the Chateau? Yes, it is. Escape to the Chateau. Have you ever seen that? The out? Chateau? No, I, I just looked it up. I was going to say so the same it, thing. And your property is called the Chateau? It's called the Chateau. That's pretty sweet. It's in France. Would you like to come visit my Chateau? I want a Chateau, yeah. but I do. But the reason, Can I retire at 50 and get a chateau? That's what they did. They just bought this chateau and now they're <laughs> they host they just use it to host like weddings and events because it's a chateau. Oh, so it was a business. Well, they, they made a business out of it. Yeah. And but the point is of this whole story, one, living in a castle seemed really cool. And two, there's massive staircases everywhere. Like yes. to get from one room to the next and like, really tiny. And this one, there's four stories in this thing and there's wings of the house. And so that one of the things they have to do is they have to go up and down these staircases all the time. The, uh, I have, uh, I have been able to go to Europe uh, and, and see some castles and stuff. These stairwells, man, are sketchy. They are so tiny. Well, they were literally built 500 uh, years why ago. Why were people I so know. little back then? I don't know. But I'm just saying, like, when you're going, if you had to go up and down those stairs every single day, your odds of of falling are very high. It feels like if you buy a house with multiple flights of stairs, there's an expiration date. Like, you were not gonna, eventually you will not be able to handle that. Well, eventually you get the or little, do you get the little you lift. You get the, the chair lift. And That's you go true. And you go, wee. Do they make those faster now? It no, seems like they can't so make slow. them fast. They're so slow. You can, Why can't we whiz you up the stairs? Seriously. Like, yeah, yeah, just turn up the, take off the, what are the, the, the governor. governor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is the man holding us down on our chair lifts? I mean, slow it down towards the end. Don't shoot me off the other side, but <laughs> no, just. I think that would be a nice exit. Yeah, you, you just need go, a little. It helps, especially on the way up. It just slams into the end and you just are <laughs> off and running. It's, it's like, keep, move your legs now. And then you land and you run. They do it. make a lot of knee related benefit, you know, helpful things for the elderly, like the chair, like the recliners that stand you all the way up. Yeah. You've seen those? I those. have not. Oh, really? they're everywhere. It's a rec so it's a recliner. And then when you're like, I'd like to get out now, it just, it goes Full into the stand. Standing it stands position. you up, man. Yep. Yep. Hmm. I've looked into them. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds so nice. <laughs> I don't have to get out of this chair. I've, I've looked into I've reached them. a point in my life where I don't even have to stand up by myself. And our passing reached out, <laughs> you say, huh? So four flights for the kitchen, three flights for the bathroom. I use the bathroom more than the kitchen. And there, I've never had an emergency. Right. Where I'm like, I got to get to the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> if I don't get to the kitchen in 30 seconds, there's going to be a huge mess. Your health is going to be great because if you have to make the decision in your head, I don't just have to walk over there and get a snack. I got to go four flights up. You yeah. might burn the calories of the snack on the way up and down. Not only or, that, but they're say or when you go down to the kitchen, you bring the <laughs> you bring the kitchen back up. It's it's not. I'm gonna grab two Oreos. It's I'm gonna grab two bags of Oreos because I'm not coming back to this. Kitchen. My rations for the day. Alternatively, I might stay in the kitchen. I might just. Put a little, my office desk is now in the kitchen because it is four flights away. Just put a, like a Murphy bed in there? Yeah, that sounds nice. I could sleep there, do my work right next to my office desk. If you live 10 years with the three flights for the bathroom situation, how many accidents are you having? Oh, so many. <laughs> so, so many. Despite having pooped my pants, I don't find... I don't find a lot of emergency trips to the bathroom. Not a lot of, uh, not a lot of speed walking? Not think, a ton. Think, think about three flights 
at one in the morning. Oh, and man. you're just you're the morning one. You're like you've you've had a, a big night out, and you're getting up at one because you got to go take a tinkle. Here's the are deal. these down? This are you go morning, down to the bathroom or it, up both, to the bathroom? Both directions. Well, it's all. I'm just thinking middle of the night going down to the bathroom might be more dangerous. Either way, you've got to come back, so you're gonna do both. Yeah, but I'll be more awake after yeah. the poop. Is all I'm this saying. This morning, um, I had to go to the bathroom so bad, but I was so, so sleepy. So much. Just just a giant morning pee. Okay. <laughs> but I was so sleepy, and I'm like, I'm not getting out of the bed. Wait, and so, wait. So wait. I just. So, so what did you do? You let the sleep overcome the yes. the, the need to urinate? Absolutely. Oh, you, you suppressed it? I suppressed it for another you hour. You absorbed it? Did you go back to sleep? Uh, so I couldn't you ever really there? get to sleep. Because you had to pee. Because I had to pee so bad. <laughs> But my, I've fought it before. My point is, <laughs> I, when I'm I'm fighting this because I don't want to get out of bed and walk a few feet. Yeah, I'm going to end up with a bucket if I, you know what oh, I mean. Oh, bedpan. Like, I'm just going to have like a little a little pee box. You upstairs. just need a bed that can stand you up when you're done sleeping. <laughs> yeah, but it, it it raises your spouse too, just, so she has to get up. Just bed have a toilet. <laughs> I would like a bed with a toilet, please. You you've got to go. You've got to go. Uh, four flights of stairs yeah. to the kitchen here. And honestly, it has to be truly. What that would be much much healthier because the amount of times where, I mean, I, it's it's a habit, and I'm sure I'm not alone here, even though I'm the fat guy. Where it's like sometimes you just go and you open that fridge door, and you you know what I mean. You're just like sure. ah, I'm just wanting to. It's like I'm almost looking for something to do. Right, I'm not hungry. I just like eh, there's a fridge. I should open that and see if there's anything I like. Is there a number of flight of stairs that you can hit that it switches like? If this is ten flights of stairs to the kitchen, or three to the bathroom, uh, yeah, I think it's gonna be double six. Ten okay. flights to the kitchen. Just I'm, I'm just throwing out a, a I'm big turn, number. I'm gonna start doing one of those. You eat once and fast the rest of the day. <laughs> things. Wow. Okay, let's how many, enter. How many flights of stairs to the restaurant? <laughs> That's. A I'll lot. take that. Uh, into the situation room we go. Hey, Spit Wads, I want to take a second, take a little pause here and talk to you about MedKline and their therapeutic sleep system. What am I talking about? If you're anything like me, you're a side sleeper and you get shoulder pain and you just, this is how you've slept forever. So maybe you stacked a few pillows up or you tried to change your sleeping position. Look, this is something I have seen and had seen on the internet for a really long time. Really wanted to try it because I wake up every day with shoulder pain. And they have a, a really unique solution to help you get a good night's sleep. Um, this is something that's been proven. And whether you suffer from shoulder pain, nighttime acid reflux, GERD, or both, the MedKline patented pillow system is designed to cushion your body in a sleeping position that is super comfortable, doctor-recommended, proven effective. It helps solve those acid reflux problems or your shoulder pain problems. And uh, 95% of patients reported overall sleep quality improvements. They've been validated in a ton of different trials. And uh, you've probably seen them around the internet. You can slip your arm right through, sleep on your side, and it fixes your problem. So you can get 20% off when you go to medcline.com slash ballers. Get 20% off and a better night's sleep today at medcline.com slash ballers today to get 20% off at medcline.com slash ballers. The Situation Room. All righty. Here we go. Isaac from Patreon, your local wizard, has once again approached you with a proposition. He can bring any one future invention into the present day for the world to use, but the catch is you and your family can never use it. What future invention do you give to the world? Oh, man. That sucks. That you can't use it? Yeah, that you can't use it? I see all this this great new tech and then get just get jealous? Well, I, I, I have one. I have an idea here that you may not be jealous of, but it seems like if we had it, we could solve a lot of world hunger problems. What if we had like a uh, uh, essentially a 3D printer for food, which I, I'm sure they're working on that out there somewhere. Okay. But you, but it's like, it's bugs. Huh? 
It's like it's insects. That's the the. the so you're, are you trying to create something that solves other people's problems, but is also still gross for you? Yes. So, so like so imagine, other, the like world makes, gets to eat bugs. Yeah. So like it's like, like crickets, like, like crickets and locusts, which apparently like, very nutritional. Yeah. Protein should, rich. Should you eat them? But it's like yeah, you put it in the in the three D printer, and then it makes it look like a steak. So just to be and clear, it still tastes good, but on. it's made out of bugs. Hold on. Just to be clear. Okay. Rather than have the entire populace of the world happy to eat something. Just a steak maker. Like a steak maker. Right. You'd rather feed the whole world bugs. Well, what's the steak made out of? To make you not jealous of their food. And no, I'm guessing no. that the steak is made out of cow. Okay, but yeah. well, the problem is you can't, we, we don't have enough cows for everybody. Well, what you got? Uh, but there's enough bugs. This 3D printer. Where is it getting the source material? From thin air elements? No, but you collect bugs. <laughs> Wait, but just collect the bugs. Why do you need the printer? So what you're bringing back because from the future no, you're is more the bugs. You're saying the printer takes the bugs and makes it into a different shape. Yes, bugs? different shape, shaped meal. That's not a future invention anybody's looking at. Well, it's not one that's actually going to ever be made. So this local wizard's going to go to find it and be like, he's going to come Nobody back and say, ever Mike ever did the bug steak thing. Mike. They never invented this great idea of yours. <laughs> well, no one ever made a bug food maker. And I'll say, perfect, I'm on it. <laughs> what about something that lets people habitably habitably live anywhere so the population spreads out? Is that an okay. invention in the future? Okay. I, I feel like what you need to live so like spread a pod? out I'm is... I'm just thinking that helps me inadvertently, right? Like it lets you go live anywhere. Yeah, I mean... It, that requires electricity. It's basically got to have like plumbing and electricity on the go because that's really what would allow that, the average person to. That seems doable, though, because solar technology will improve over the next sure. thousand years to where you should be able to sustain. And then, uh, you know, I don't know. We turn turn your pee into whatever. Something right. to get rid of carbon should dioxide. It? Okay. I'm going to go. So I was thinking, okay, do you bring back like cures to diseases? Yeah. Which is great. I mean, obviously that sucks. I really hope my family does not get that disease that I've cured for everyone else, but not okay. me. If it's and contagious, I, you'll be good. And so now I don't really get anything out of this. You know, I mean, the, what about a plaque? Because now there's, oh, that would be nice. I would appreciate a plaque. <laughs> like a statue. Jace, Jason Moore. The selfless person brought, ever. He brought in the cure for cancer, but knowing the, he couldn't use it. I mean, do, I mean. The, the traffic jams with so many more people, that would be really tough. Um, so I'm going to instead. Because they lived, you're saying? Yeah. Um, <laughs> I instead. Was, I, I'm like with you. I feel like there was a, a jump I'm with in you. there somewhere. I'm going to bring back teleportation. It's, it Jason, is going to happen, it's Mike. Not it gonna, is going to happen. It is not going to happen. This is it, it, Spitwads. Jason has been holding tightly to this fact that he believes we will eventually teleport uh, everywhere yes i believe which we will of get course will never happen it will quantum entanglement we, we will have teleportation but when that happens it's a foregone conclusion yes moving on it is um when that happens my freeways are open i mean i'm just I, i'm They're not keeping that system maintained for you yeah, alone well here's they the don't problem need... like okay if you could teleport right yeah where in your in your mind of somehow we have figured this out. Yeah. Do you can you just go anywhere or does there need no, to be there a need, there a would device? have to be a device on the so other? So it's this, an airport basically. Right. With with with, with keyword th air with like three hour lines like just huge huge lines to use the teleportation. Well, th How long does it take to to de disentangle yourself? No, I I think it will be an instant travel, and well, I, and it won't even be you. It'll be your clone. Yeah. <laughs> oh, maybe. Maybe. Yeah. That's, yeah. See, that's, this is a big problem here. <laughs> that's yeah. interesting. Um, but I can't use it, Mike, so I'm okay. All of <laughs> all of the rest of the world hey, are, are you still you? Are to be dying clear, this is also reborn. that you can drive on empty freeways? <laughs> yes. Okay. I thought about giving space travel, but I'd be so jealous. Everyone leaving? I'd never yeah. be able to use it? Bug sticks. <laughs> <laughs> bug sticks. <laughs> Man. Now you've talked me into bug sticks. You're not eating them. No. <laughs> that's the key but they're delicious uh al i need you to pick one of these three situation rooms for me to go through because i think we're going to get into the draft after that all right let's go to daniel's daniel from patreon your local wizard oh he's back oh <laughs> that man that wasn't long <laughs> uh, he, i've been gone for a whole question uh he has an idea if you choose to you can commit any crime 
Oh. And the wizard has the power to make that the last time anyone ever commits that crime. <laughs> what is Unfor- this? This is the trolley situation. Is what bad. is happening? Unfortunately, he doesn't have enough power left over to save you from the consequences of the crime. <laughs> So you will do the appropriate oh, time man. for the crime. Oh, man. Do we, you take him up on this or abstain? This podcast, you, we have a storied history of being very anti-murder. Yes. But like, you have to murder. We are, I know. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> to stop murder, you have to do the murder. Oh, and we have declared many times on this show, kids, don't do the murder. Now, hold on a second. If you accidentally do the murder in okay. self-defense... Does it only get rid of self-defense? Yes. Oh, yes. that would be bad. Yes. That, that would be, be <laughs> that would be really bad. First, no one can protect first themselves. First degree sh- just skyrockets. So you have to make sure you're committing actual murder. Yeah, you got to plan it. And we Is say, murder our biggest crime that that would help? I mean, you or you could do like theft. Like cuz I feel like you could steal something. Lying? Uh That's not a crime. crime. No, it's no, not, not a not, crime. No. Mm-mm. No but, laws against but that. But like but if but if you stole you could steal something of, of little to no value. Like if you stole a dollar from somebody, that counts. And now there's oh. no more stealing. That's that's a pretty good way out. I know what I'm doing. And I'll deal with the consequences of stealing a dollar. No, that's not bad. Yeah, that's, that's a that's good a good answer. trick. I was gonna I was gonna try to scam someone on a on a phone call. Oh, telemarketer? I think I was gonna try to yeah, but it has to be illegal. Oh. So an okay. illegal scam via telemarketing, that can't be hard time. Can we but that would help the world a lot. Can we like encompass that into like the emails too, the phishing emails? Ooh, spam? Like, like a spam campaign? The 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 phishing emails out there are getting pretty good. <laughs> like you've been we, uh, you've been hooked? I have not. Uh, but there's I have definitely had to uh like double check some before. I mean, you're always doing the thing where you click like okay, what's the actual email address this is coming from? And that was easy. But I got hit from one that was like uh like a help.apple.com or something. They they had gotten Apple into the actual email address. And I was like, well, this is strange. And then Googling it, it was, no, this this is a fraudulent email. But they're they're getting so sophisticated now. They must be getting so many of those ARPs. Oh, I mean, all the ARPs. All the old people's money is gone. It is <laughs> It has now been stolen. I feel really bad for old people who have email. <laughs> They're just, right. just they're getting it they're, they're there's like, no oh, way to protect yourself i already clicked this link 10 times yeah, yeah, let me put the login in one more time <laughs> i already gave you my bank account <laughs> you need my social again <laughs> we're gonna be those people getting bamboozled too eventually we will yeah but it'll come in the teleportation machine so, so uh, that's my what, clones problem what other crimes nice. uh, i know mine okay. because the worst crimes that you want to get rid of we're, I don't. I'm, I'm not right. committing. Right. But I think drugs are a real problem okay. for a lot of people. So okay. if I do illegal drugs, which you know, look, I take one for the team. Sorry, you have to. OD I'm today. cleaning the streets. I don't have to OD. I don't have to die. <laughs> so no, saying, OD doesn't mean you die. Well, you, oftentimes you, you hospitalized. Yeah, you, usually you, you don't. You don't ever die unless you OD. <laughs> you can OD without dying, but you don't die without OD. So you're gonna do some drugs? So I'm gonna do some drugs, to clean up the streets. Now you only get this rid is of for you. This kids. is for you. You've got a 10 minute period to do as many of the drugs you want to eliminate. Yeah, you got. Oh do no, them all. I only eliminate the yeah. drugs I do. That's right. Yeah, because you stole a dollar and apparently got rid of all theft. No, I, I mean I, that's theft. Yeah. Well, but doing a drug. <laughs> That's it. That was, that's what the uh, judge do, says, right? He's doing a drug. You were doing drugs. The You're very knowledgeable. First, <laughs> first degree drug. <laughs> drug taking. I don't, I, don't know, I don't know what to take, but uh, I'm going to take the worst. I'm going to get the worst stuff oh, off the oh, street. Yeah. Fentanyl. Got it. You're the drug doer. Uh, <laughs> we might have time for one more, huh? What yes, else does a local wizard have? Yeah, I think the last one there will be right. pretty quick. Wittison from Patreon, you're presented with the opportunity to double one, half one, and keep one the same. Your strength, your speed, and your knowledge. Oh, double man. Double one, have one, keep one the same. Wow. Strength, speed, knowledge. I'm having my speed. That one I know. You're doubling it? Having. Oh, I'm you're having have- okay. my speed because... I'm not that fast. But here's the thing, Jason. Because I that was I started immediately. That's gotta thinking be like this. walking speed and everything, right? Yeah, no, just everything. Okay. So we are we are definitely not 
the fastest people in the world. We aren't like world class athletes, but like we, we did a uh, many many years ago. You ran a forty yard dash, and yeah. you, you were at like five point something. Okay, cut that in half, double your speed, and you are running at elite. You're like the you, you might the be world. the fastest person in the world. You would be. Oh wow! I did Could, not think of that. Like even even if you ran a six second forty yard dash, you would run a three second forty. Am I doing that? No, you're right? doing it 100 percent right. And uh, of course, you so would, you are the fastest person in the world by a lot. You'd win every Olympic event. You'd be in. You'd play in the NFL at. You, like you, you could do whatever you want. You could start the NFL at 40. <laughs> Mike, you're doing some great work over here. I mean, that's incredible. Because I'm thinking, like, what do I? What can I bench press? I could bench press. I don't know. Just say about 200 pounds. Right. There's people who can bench press yes, 400 pounds. Are. You can get there. So that's not worth it. Right. I I'm agree. not looking to lift a car. <laughs> I don't, you know, I, and I'm not looking to help anybody move. So doubling my strength is probably not going to be that great for me. Uh, I'll open a jar of pickles easier. Now, but, now hold on. If, oh, you got to. Got... If you double your speed, that means you are going to have to have either your strength or your knowledge, right? Yes. So you said, you know, you would become. This is like the character building on. You a would video become game. much weaker. Unless you're going to get rid of half your knowledge, you, no one's getting rid of half know, their knowledge. No, the knowledge that's the double. It, it, it could it's be. Gotta be the, it's got to be the. It's got to be the double. Who's the fastest man alive. <laughs> it's got to be the double or the normal. You cannot half your knowledge. If you half your knowledge, I mean, you're just. Your speed I guess means I nothing. could. You're so stupid. Oh, I'm so smart. <laughs> <laughs> so that's my voice. I, yeah, it was no, just I now. mean, I, I think you have to. Du I'm going to double knowledge. It would be sweet. I'm gonna have to. I'm also, being the fastest person I don't, alive. I don't is think doubling decent. knowledge would be as sweet as you think. This is not doubling your intelligence. It's not making you able to think through things in a much. It's just total knowledge. Okay. Which is I a feel, form of intelligence. Yes, it is. It, your book smarts. Yes, you you'll have a lot of uh, encyclopedic knowledge. And but you know my quips I could throw. Oh, out? absolutely just unlimited. But my point is like I'm getting through life just fine <laughs> with my limited knowledge. Okay, like my. But you're getting through life just fine with your speed and your strength. But if you double any of our knowledge, right? I be, don't think we're doing anything great. Double our knowledge. I are, would be saying peace out to both of you suckers. I'm finding some better company. Yeah. Yeah, you, you, you would double have, my knowledge. You I'm out of here. You wouldn't You'd want to, to be around us. You would have to. I know. Everyone like everyone else would be so dumb to you. And now you're hanging out with the nerds, the boring <laughs> old nerds. I mean, enjoy your new friend I'm group, kicking nerd. Some butt on the stock market. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah. because yeah, you ever sipping bourbon in a sitting room you somewhere. Ever, you seen Limitless? But that's the thing that's that increased knowledge. his intelligence, not his knowledge. Have you not heard that knowledge is power? Yeah, I have heard that. That and that is true. But you, and it's, it's half the battle. It's not like. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it is, Mike. All right, G I'm keeping my G knowledge the same. That. I'm taking half the strength, and I'm doubling my speed. Thank you, Mike. You're welcome. Hi. That's pretty good. I mean, it, it would be, it would be <laughs> to be that fast. Like when I just just which watching. one are you having? Your strength? Yeah. Then I'm doubling my strength because <laughs> I'm finally going to be stronger than you, and it's going to be great. Uh, just going to throw me around if you can catch me, <laughs> which you can't. Okay, I'm 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 on team speed always wins. Uh, I will. <laughs> I'm going to double the speed. <laughs> I'm, I'm vain. <laughs> yeah, let's go, Mike. I'll be Would out you, wide left. You yeah, be out wide right. Yes. I mean, if you if you were that fast, three seconds uh, forty, and you're forty. So, yeah, if you right. ran a three second 40 at 40, mm -hmm. do you get a job in the NFL right now? Probably. Yeah, Just running fly so. routes? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you probably do. Also, now, I'm you double your speed, but not your cardio. <laughs> oh, well, then yeah, I, we, I would run there. 10 yards. <laughs> but we can, at I that mean, speed? Well, like, with double speed, even at 40, then you can just you can do the Olympics. Yeah. This is interesting. Now it's time yeah, to. I'll just jog. If right. I don't have the cardio, this is easy. <laughs> he'll, he'll settle for a four-second 40. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just to have a casual jaunt. I'm not giving it anything until the ball's in my hand and then see you later. Oh, that would be yeah, a lot of screens. All right, we're drafting. What do you want to eat tonight? 
Maybe you want a home-cooked favorite, but you don't feel like going to the store, or you want something exciting, something new, but man, would it be nice to just stay in tonight. Kablam! DoorDash! It's connecting you with everything you want, wherever, however you want it. I try to use DoorDash up to three times a day. Uh, you know, it's, it's the way to have food delivered in all seriousness. We use this every single day for lunch around the studio. We do the DoorDash group orders with over 300,000 partners. You could support your neighborhood's go-to or choose from your favorite national restaurants like Popeye's, Chipotle, the Cheesecake Factory with DoorDash. You're not just getting things you love, but you're supporting the community you love too, from the stores and the restaurants to the dashers driving around every single purchase provides a new opportunity for everyone involved because with DoorDash, there is a neighborhood of good in every order. For a limited time, our listeners can get 50% off up to a $20 value and a $0 in delivery fees when you download the DoorDash app and enter the code BALLERS. That's 50% off up to a $20 value and $0 delivery fees when you download the DoorDash app in the App Store and enter code BALLERS. Ballers. Don't forget that's code Ballers for 50% off, up to $20 in value, and $0 delivery fees with DoorDash. Subject to change, terms apply. The Spitballers Draft. Well, we are drafting the, uh, the best dog breeds. Yes, we are. As defined by our individual subjective mm -hmm. determination of what best means. It, uh, yeah, that's kind of all of our drafts. Exactly. <laughs> just just setting up the table here. Mike, go ahead and make the first pick. So I feel like I could play the game with this particular breed, but I'm not sure that it matters <laughs> in this uh, draft, so I'm just taking my favorite dog. Uh, I will be taking the English Bulldog. Uh, they are it, like so ugly that they are beautiful dogs. With they got the smash face. That's the, dr the that's the pan face, right? Yes, yeah, so it's the smash face. They always have the underbite. Their teeth are sticking out the bottom. Is they're that the, they're you usually said English bulldog. Yeah, and is that the same as just what we would normally consider a bulldog? You yeah, mostly. There's other. There's like French bulldogs. Right? Yes, yes. Which the, you someone could take that. That's why I was being specific of, gotcha. of the English bulldog. We'll give they, you all the bulldogs. They uh. Uh, they were bred that way, which, you know, like, you know, just gruesome dog knowledge. Like, they were bred that way so that they could fight bears. What? Yeah. They, Wait, what do you mean? What? How does a smushed face help you fight a bear? I, I do not know. The but, smushed face came after but, the fight. <laughs> but the, uh, <laughs> but yeah, they, like, there used to be, you know, back in the old times, they would have fights and they would put the, the dogs against I'll take the bear. The bear. <laughs> I but he yeah, was would, bred for this. Yeah, I'll you take think, the bear. But they're just they're they're always snorting. They're just they're so cute and they're so much fun. I think they I have love, a lot of I health love problems. Bulldogs. Yes, they do. From the breeding for bears. Yes, things. Yeah. yes. They said they weren't really worried about longevity. They were worried about bears. Ah, <laughs> that uh, th <laughs> which that makes absolutely it's not a really long life if you're fighting that makes bears. No sense whatsoever to me on any level. One. Why would you breed dogs to fight bears? I don't know, man. Like it's not going to help not, you. There, there was to, no internet. There how, wasn't a lot to do. How do you? How do you go? You know what we need? We need to breed these dogs for bears. Okay, what do we do? You <laughs> how do we, we get the face smashed in. <laughs> okay, how do you smush? How do you breed a smush? I face? don't know. We've made all, right. all of. These I need breeds. double the knowledge. I don't know anything about breeding smush faces. To be fair. <laughs> all right, so I get the first pick. Uh, <laughs> uh, instead of smushed face. This one I feel I feel obligated to take. Mm, see, I didn't fall into that trap. And well, this isn't this I went isn't with my heart. No, this is my heart. Mm -hmm. This is my favorite dog. This You're is the just dog. obligated. The, the oft, uh, matters of the heart are often obligations. I feel <laughs> obligated because this is my personal oh, dog. Okay. It is my okay. personal dog because it is my favorite breed of dog. Oh, okay. So I'm going to take a golden doodle because okay. I don't want the shedding of a golden the retriever. Hotness. I don't want the sassiness of a poodle. So I'm going to take a golden doodle. That's my that's two now, two thirds of my dogs. How would your other dogs that you've had in the past that have come and gone mm -hmm. feel about this decision just based on your new hotness? Um, they would say, oh, "I wish I could be as good as a golden doodle." Okay, I wish I could not shed. 
I wish I could be big and strong. Now, you're saying all these things, and so you, you uh, for a while, had two golden doodles. Yes, still do. And then you got a – yeah, still do. Sorry. And But then you're like, I need a third dog, mm -hmm. but it will not be the the great golden doodle dog. Yeah. T three big dogs, too much dog. So I got a, oh, I got a okay. tiny dog to add to the mix. <laughs> um, we have a golden doodle as well. Oh, what That's a good That's the pick. extent of my dog breed knowledge. There you the go. The doodle Re really? that we got. Yes. So I'm choosing all dogs based on a You're different selector here. Okay. okay. Do we get to know? We d I didn't grow up with dogs. I didn't. I wasn't a pet guy. Really? I don't all right. find them all that amazing. <laughs> oh, they're, the, they're not amazing. They're the best. I will say that my wife recently accidentally got a second dog. Got our <laughs> golden doodle trimmed at the groomer. Um, they misinterpreted her, and now oh, he looks man. like a poodle. Yes, yeah. yes. The the grooming of the long haired dogs is it's very difficult to get exactly how you want the dog to look because they're well, like he looks stupid. Now. They're like I don't what? even respect him. You're like, well, no, it's supposed to look like this. You're like, yeah, but I don't want it to look like right. That. But what if it did? <laughs> they have strong opinions. The groomers. Oh, very strong. Yeah, and they got the little the little poof on the foot. It looks so yeah. stupid. Oh, he's got the poofy. No, feet. he's just got okay. a poodle face now, and it's like. <laughs> She said something about trimming a little extra around his mouth, and zzzz, you got to ask. You got to ask for the teddy bear face. Yes, yeah, we the puppy cut. Yeah, yeah. Well, anyways, Pro I don't tips, respect everybody. him. He looks stupid, <laughs> and I've been making fun of him to his face. He'll be back in a couple months. Uh, but no, I'm picking dogs based on how much damage they can inflict. <laughs> okay. All right, all right. So all right. I am beginning Wait. with and combined with how yeah. much they resemble something cool, like a cool looking like dog. Former presidents. All right. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Okay. I'm, uh, so I'm my, writing down my first guess then of your I'm damage. going with the German Shepherd. Yeah. That is my very yeah. first guess. It's rinse in tin, bro. I, I didn't think about the utilization of them as police dogs. Yes. German Shepherds are awesome. They'll rip you up. They're yeah. brilliant dogs. They're very smart, but they're also terrible puppies. Like, you yeah, got mm, to make it to year two before you can love this dog, and then they're the best dog ever. Uh, and then I'm following that up with a Rottweiler. Yeah. I'm going with a Rottweiler. Uh, because again, we'll rip you up. Yeah, Rottweilers can do some real damage. They're also beautiful dogs. Like, I am ranking and them awesome. I'm ranking them by dogs that if I hit a ball over a neighbor's fence as a kid, ah, and I wanted to jump sandlot over sandlot rules, jump over and get that ball. Yeah, I would be at risk. Okay. All right. All right. You 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 just you hit that ball. You go. Well, that's gone. Yes. Yes. That's gone forever. The dog will either eat the ball or eat you if you try to pursue and get the ball. Okay. So I'm going with Rottweiler as my second. Because I'm going to. No, it's a good pick. I, I'm just. It's on my list. It's more of a battle royale for me. <laughs> so I'll so, make sure the poll. Does... It's best dog breeds. I'll and take they a will, chihuahua. They will interpret it however they want. Well, All right. if you put some bears in this fight. Yeah. The you flat know, face will really get You know who em. to call. Yeah. Um, I, for the record, I would take a German Shepherd over the flat face dog in a fight against bears, despite the breeding. Yeah, you don't know your history. I do not. <laughs> All right. Um, uh, ironically, I am going to take a dog that I do think in a battle royale would be a would be a good pick. But this was next on my list. I think these are the most amazing dogs. And if you've never, you'll know the dog when I say it. You'll see it. You'll be like, oh yeah, okay. But if you've never actually in real life been around one, you do not realize how big they are. They are horses. I'm taking a great dame. Yes, yeah. they are very horse-like. Saddle up and <laughs> ride because the, I had a I had a friend in college who had two great danes and these were giant four great danes. I couldn't believe it. Standing on all four feet, I felt like they were almost my height. I I was terrified to walk in that house because if these dogs had a problem with me, right. I lose. And they like they can just look over your fence. Yes. <laughs> like when they go up on the high lights, they're like, "Hey, what's going on over there?" I'm just I'm just eight feet tall now. <laughs> they're so big. They don't live very long, though, right? I Isn't don't that the, think that's so. That's the sad part of yeah. the Great Dane. Isn't I, just a few, I think, I like think, four years or something. I don't that's, know about that's four, the downside. They should just be Danes. But like, I think that's a it's a all big dog problem. They yeah. they don't live as long, and they're uh, huge. So they're, yes. they're at the bottom of that list. Yes, they are very very big. All right, okay, I, Mike. Uh, I will. T I'm gonna go with my next pick. 
If it's French Bulldog, man, you really pulled one over on us. <laughs> I do love French Bulldogs, but no, I'm not going with that. I'm going with I'm going with uh, we're gonna go with a Husky. Which, oh dang yeah, it, they are. It was gonna be my. They pick. are. Oh, for really? Well, because that one looks like a wolf to it me. Does. So even though it's not as dangerous, Huskies are. I want a wolf. Are beautiful. Can I draft wolf? What color eyes are we working with here? Maybe oh, you gotta oh, go. You gotta blue. Go the, we gotta go with those baby blues. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. I like the one blue. I like oh, when they've got okay. the different okay. colored okay. eyes. Okay. And it, they're just they're incredible creatures. Uh, I don't feel like I can have a husky here in Arizona. It would be just mean to that dog who will never ever see the snow and will be hot all the time just take him to the groomer mike they won't mind <laughs> just just buzz him mm -hmm. just, just just all the way down to the skin can you pluck this dog <laughs> just take it all out all right so i got the english bulldog i got the husky uh and then you went with the hybrid breed jason so i'm just i'm go with the old-fashioned okay. the golden retriever yep which th these are also beautiful dogs and they are I think they're also terrible puppies. Yes, they're uh, like very, labs, uh, German shepherds, and and golden retrievers. Nightmare puppies. They're just too playful, too right. out of control, too much energy. And then they're the best. Dogs but then ever. when they get big, they are like the friendliest dogs. Like they have, they're the kind of dog where they just, they look like they're smiling all the time, mm -hmm. and they're just just super happy. They're so excited to see you. They're like, smart. And they're, they're like, hey, there you are. Like, I, do I know you, Mister? Mr. Dog, no, but there you are, and I love you. When you think yeah, of, like, yeah, right. man's best friend yeah, type of, retrievers. Uh, you know, adage re referring to dogs, you think of golden retrievers. They are so loyal, but enjoy all the hair you're going to be sweeping I, That's the other problem. I will never have a golden retriever <laughs> yeah. because of the shedding. Yeah. All right. Um, is that you? You got that's both? my two. Yeah. All right. So I am back up here. I got I got a couple ways I can go here. Um. I love the way one of these looks, but I think they're terrible dogs. <laughs> so I don't. Interesting. I don't. Oh, man. But it's it's such a cool looking dog and so famous. They're at the fire stations. I'm taking them. Oh, yeah. I don't yeah, have oh, to. Yeah, it's on this, my list. This is the place. I think they to, are terrible dogs. This is they, the place to draft I, them because I mean, I, I exactly. I don't want to. I don't want to actually own a Dalmatian. But Dalmatians are so cool. Are they getting a bad rap, though? I don't think so. I think they're no, I think they, literally... I think they got a good rap from the movies, and then people went out and got them, and they were like, Cause, this sucks. Because like, like, like pit bulls get a bad rap because they're if they are trained to be mean, this feels like a dog that, <laughs> that Andy yeah, should I, select. I, I should uh, but, it, uh, but they're not. Like, they're, they're, they're fantastic dogs. Uh, like, but I've heard Dalmatians are just mean, mean. Are they? Or does anyone that, know? I, yeah, I, I think that's true. Okay, is that because I mean, they, does anybody know? I've never had a Dalmatian, but because I, they have to live at the fire depot, right? Right. Yeah, the that's, fire station. They do have yeah. to stay down, or there. with Cruella. <laughs> Dalmatians. Well, they don't live with Cruella. <laughs> well, they eventually they, they do. They lived. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. <laughs> um. Yeah. Or, Dalmatians originated as war dogs. Oh, and, what? And hunting animals. So. Why did we put spots on them? Well, I don't know that we put the spots on them, but uh, yeah, I'll take a Dalmatian because they're really, really cool looking, they very are. famous dogs, and I don't have to have this in my house. Well, perfect. Then I'm left with yes. the pit bull yeah, as, great selection. as my next pick. Uh, you know, it, it, Rottweilers are the same where like they can be really, like I think Rottweilers are really aggressive towards other dogs and they're still, they get a bad rap too. Like yeah. all those dogs get a bad rap. In part because bad owners, right? Like yes, bad dog they're trained, owners. They're trained to be that way. But I will go with Pitbull for my third pick. And to to fill out my uh, perfect four-pack of intimidating dogs, All right. I'm going to go with the one that I was neighbors with that many a time I wanted to I wanted to tempt fate and jump over the fence, but they had two gigantic Doberman pinchers. Oh, oh yeah. Which... I think they're in contention for coolest silhouette of a dog. Yeah, for sure. They're guard dogs. So, I mean, these things. Yeah, that's Mr. Burns' dogs. My brother was up on the fence once, and the dog jumped up. And Oh, no, wait. That was a Dalmatian. Ooh. He got bit by a Dalmatian. Of course jumped, he did. That got that jumped up. The pit, Some monsters. The Doberman never got him. <laughs> but they are scary-looking dogs. They are. Especially as a kid. They're so tall. 
those pointy ears. Yeah, so, I confuse Rottweilers with Doberman Pinschers. And now that I'm looking at, because we had, I sometimes I think we had a Rottweiler growing up. We had a Doberman Pinscher, but it had the Rottweiler coloring. It was the mm. black and brown, but it was the thin. It was the story I think I've told where we had this dog on a leash in our backyard, and he jumped over the fence. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And we thought he hung himself. He did not. No. <laughs> Thankfully, um, they're delight. They're very delightful. Uh, the, those ears pointing straight up are pretty cool. And if you watch, like I'm gonna eat you now. Yeah, similar to your silhouette comment. If you want to watch a dog just run, like that, that's one of the that's one of the best looking dogs on the move. All right, my final pick. Yours. That is. Yep. Okay, I got I got quite a few here um, that I could go with. Do I go with the name? Hmm, both of these are name important to me because of the name. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with the dog that I really do like. It's uh, it's <laughs> hyper hypoallergenic. Okay. So I could have this dog in my house, and I want a tiny dog on my on my list here. And are you, are you allergic to dogs? I'm not, but the rest of my family is. Okay. So got so it. For my boys, I gotta, you know, gotta have a right. non, non uh. How do you say that? Non dander, allergenic. Al that that's what allergenic. Yeah. Okay. You got whatever. it. Hyper allergenic. Uh, but I love the Hypo. name. This name is important to me. I've been saying a lot. I'm gonna take a Bijan Frisé, <laughs> uh, in part because I want Bijan Robinson in a fantasy football draft. And I'm, <laughs> this is a I'm weird just, crossover. Yeah, it's right a now. weird crossover. But I'm taking a Bijan Frisé. Okay. It's a good. It's I, a good uh, little dog. Yeah, we had a Bijan Poo for many years. Yeah, I. Uh, that's just so, a Bichon Frise with a poodle. Yeah. Okay. Rascal, oh. rascally fella. Yeah, they're little. They're little sometimes high, they get little yappy. erratic. Little yeah. yappy. Yeah. Okay, so I am up. It's fun to say Bichon Frise. Yeah, it's not bad. <laughs> All right. Uh, what's a name? What's a dog name you like to say, Mike? Ooh. Ooh. I've got one on my list. <laughs> oh, come on! It's, it's a so cockapoo. Grow up! It's a cockapoo. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, that was it. I thought, I thought you were it was going the other one. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Both are great. <laughs> Is right. he? So I am very torn right now for my final pick uh, between going with my first dog, uh, the breed of the first dog I ever had, or staying with hashtag uh, Team Big Dog. Because I li I'm very much on Team Big Dog. And now is that because of demeanor, or is that because you actually just like a big dog? I, I just like the, a big dog. I, f I feel like with the little ones, I'm gonna, like you're gonna hurt them. Yeah, okay. like I'm, I might accidentally step on you, huh. and, and and I don't know. It's, I mean, big dogs are generally calmer. I did have my small dog for one day before breaking there uh, you go. her arm and yeah, having to take her to surgery. Yeah, yeah, why did you, you do that, by the way? It was my son. Oh. <laughs> so, well, <laughs> wasn't me. Everybody, <laughs> take care of it, Peta. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go. <laughs> I'm gonna go with uh, I'll go with big dog. I'm I'm gonna take a boxer. Uh, boxers are incredible dogs. That's a cool dog. Uh, my 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 wife when I when I met her they had a, a big old boxer. He was just like the just so smart, but so gentle and kind of, of despite the gigantic size. And there's they I like uh I like the smooth hair dogs too more than the the long hair. I know we get like I have two Bernadoodles now because they're because my kids are allergic to dogs too, but when I prefer the look of a dog, I like that smooth, the the short hair just looking real sleek. Boxers are so sweet and scary. Yes, like if I I can't just go up and pet a boxer, I can't do it if I don't know the boxer. Sure, I just is too too big and scary. <laughs> this is quite the interesting bunch. Mike has the well rounded English bulldog, husky, golden retriever, retriever, and boxer. Jason's a little eccentric, I think. It bounces around, but the Golden Doodle, I mean, mm -hmm. you got to love the Golden Doodle. The Great Dane, enormous. Dalmatian. Mean. Ferocious. Mean. And Bijan Frise sounds cool. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> and then, you know, don't mess with my gang. Yeah, that's true. The, the German, German Shepherd. The Shepherd, Rottweiler, Pitbull, and Doberman Pinscher. Wow. Yeah, 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 we're a tough crowd. You missed the Mastiff, though. You missed, uh, yeah, you know, yeah. You needed to go another I saw row. something called a Wolf Dog, but I didn't think that would count. Because it seems I, about 50-50. No, I think that is a dog. And they are I heard they're, they're ginormous. Yeah, I heard they're awful, too. Oh, are they? Like, super dangerous. Yeah. Like a wolf? I, I kind of like the wolf <laughs> part of them. It's half wolf. <laughs> <laughs> that's the part that's scary. All right, we're moving 
Oh, did you have any other ones you wanted to mention real quick? Uh, I mean, the other one I was thinking about taking was the Beagle. But they, I mean, those, yeah. you want to talk about a rap scallion. Yeah. Beagles are way too smart, and they are they'll sneaky. Also, they'll also eat themselves to death. What? Yeah, yeah. they will literally, they, they, they Don't will. Don't make me tell them our Beagle story. Yeah. Oh, no. We, in, in the Moore household, we say... Or my wife says to me, "Don't beagle yourself." That's a a common phrase. Because you, oh, you oh. might eat yourself to death. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yes. See, when you said that phrase, I saw I pictured a dog chewing on itself. Oh no, no, no! Like, they won't eat themselves. If, if it got in, we literally. This is not a, a joke. There was a uh, party we were at. They had a six foot subway sub, <laughs> and it was in the had? other room. Had. Oh man! And they had a beagle, and this beagle yeah. ate. So much. We thank goodness we caught it like right. halfway through. It was so you had a, a cartoon character. <laughs> the beagle looked like it had four feet of sandwich in this small little dog because it did. That's terrifying. Yeah, it was. But they're they're very funny. But they are. And I, yeah, if yeah, I'm they, a, they they if you are not careful, yes, they get they get chonky real real easy. Uh, if I throw out another name, it's just cockapoo. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and I thought about a sharp pen. What did we learn today? Because they're so wrinkly. <laughs> you like your dog, so you know you know the the dog world. I mean, you knew that cool fact about the bears. That is the yeah. thing I learned today. Uh, yeah, that bear, the flat face. It's called bear baiting, I believe. It's a the it's world a was thing. very weird. Uh, they had nothing to do without yeah. the internet. I learned that alligators can jump. So be more afraid of alligators and crocodiles than you already were. Uh, I learned that I got to get. My my staff working on the bug steaks. <laughs> yeah, no, that wave be... of the future. By the way, the one dog I d- I feel like I need to mention because they're so sweet. Australian greyhounds. Oh, Australian greyhounds. You like the greyhounds? I think they're, they're... well, not the not the big ones. Well, uh, what am I thinking of then? The Australian greyhounds are smaller. Oh, because like reg- I like sweet dogs. Almost all breeds of dogs, but greyhounds are hideous yeah they're really ugly like, the there's tiny just, little face there's people that love greyhounds and they're just like i i i've tried i can't get behind this and before we leave uh do you have a favorite dog breed out do you have one that uh australian shepherds oh okay. those are great dogs. super smart yeah they are too smart little too smart for their own good thank you for tuning in to the spitballers podcast tell your friends yes hope you enjoyed the episode we'll catch you next week with a brand new one goodbye Thanks for listening to the Spitballers Podcast. To see what other nonsense the guys are up to, check out spitballerspod.com.